Welcome to DevCap, a series where you get a quick recap of what happened in the dev stream. Oh, th there's no dev stream? Just the blog? Uh, I guess we don't have to make this video. I'm your host, Ward Wardenson, and let's get started. Though the devs have not blessed us with their appearance in this one, because they are busy working on 1.0. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't have a dev cap now, does it? So, what's coming in 49? Well, Imperial Tech Maids have finally given us a tank worthy of ward in fashion sense. By giving us a Gallagher with a top hat. Now we can truly ride to battle, in style. The Highwayman is a fitting name for a tank of its design. The main gun is a dual 20mm anti-tank cannon and its secondary is an independently rotating 12.7mm turret, making the Highwayman the first tank that can shoot from the front and the back at the same time. Now the Colonials also get some love. With the Quad RPG tank, Goblin Engineers thought to themselves, what if a Bardish and a Gemini did the Devil's Tango? Well, the outcome would be the Ranceur, which is French for whatever the fuck this is. Its main gun is the quad mounted RPG launcher, perfect for taking out structures. It also supports a 12.7mm gun to take care of any infantry in the way of said structures. Now that we're done with these new tanks, let's look at the light tank. They were the first tanks to be added to the battlefields of SIVA, and now they have joined the ranks of the tankette by becoming the cutest tanks in the game. Look at that little thing next to the big one. Oh my god, it's so cute, I want to cuddle it. Vehicle physics have been improved more, having more accurate collisions, more bounce, more stability when going over trenches, and more smoother movement when off-roading. There's also some client-side optimization, but honestly I have no clue what this means. I think less spiky graph means better game. Anyways, you can pause this if you wish to read this. Now something that definitely won't trigger anyone, game balance. First off, sniper rifles. Now, some of you might have found the recent sniper meta realistic, but for all the people who play Foxhole for fun, I'm glad to say that the snipers now cost more, stability has been reduced, and you're required to crouch. I guess Foxhole is no longer about the realism, boys. Very sad. Also, some other changes, like tripod weaponry has more health, Igni equip time has been decreased, rocket jeep range has been increased, Gemini range and ammo capacity has been increased, EAT reload time has been increased, and 40 pushies do less damage to structures. Now, as always, these are subject to change throughout testing, but looking at all these changes, there's one thing I can safely say. This is fucking colonial bias, dude. Hey, hold up, don't fucking leave yet, or I'll send you to the med tents. Big thanks to Baslo for helping me out with some of the testing. Make sure to like, comment, and share this video to keep all Foxholers blue and green informed. And uh, yeah, watch this video next.